Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Friday, which means it's time for a magic rant. And if you've seen the thumbnail to this video, if you've seen the title to this video, if you've seen the description to this video, you will you will see that it says that this is my final rant ever. And I have to be honest with you, that's a little bit of clickbait. It's not my final rant ever because this is not a rant. My final rant ever was last Friday. Uh, I will not be ranting on this channel again. I'm just going to pull the plaster off and let you guys know there will be no Friday night rant on this video, uh, on this video slot, on this channel. Friday nine o'clock is not going to be a rant video anymore. Now I know, I know that that's going to upset a few people. I know that's probably going to annoy a few people. And I know that when people have watched this video, there's going to be a certain percentage of people that are going to unsubscribe because that's why they watch this channel. And that's absolutely fine. And that is your prerogative. However, I want you to, uh, I want to explain to you why I've come to this decision and what it means, what it means moving forward. Right. And what I'm going to be doing in place instead on at nine o'clock on a, on a Friday. But more importantly, why I'm stopping the rant videos, because they were really popular. It's kind of like, why would you stop something that's really popular? Well, this is something that I've been wrestling with for a while. Uh, this is a decision that I've not come to lightly. And let me explain why I've actually come to this decision. And there's a few different reasons. And the first reason is... And I'd be lying if I said it didn't have anything to do with the back and forth that I've had recently with the Wizard Product Review. Because obviously, I've, for the last few weeks now, I've been going back and forth with, with, with Sean and Dave on the Wizard Product Review. And as you'll know from Wednesday and the video that I put up on Wednesday, I honestly feel that that crossed the line. Now, I have to take responsibility for that because I was the one that was doing ranting at them. They were they were kind of going back with me. But I have to take responsibility for that. It crossed the line. It got to a position where I felt really uncomfortable. And that's something that I have to live with. Now, um, when I first started Magic TV, and we, st we, we started with me and Ryland just doing a review show. And then off the back of that, I started doing rant videos on a Friday. And there were two reasons for that. The first reason was, if you look, well, you can't look back and we'll get to that in a minute. But the first rant video I did was an open letter to Boris Johnson. And it was right at the beginning of lockdown. And it was all about why I thought the government needed to support the entertainment industry. Um, this was before any support packages were announced. Uh, off the back of that, that was such a popular video, I then continued to put videos out every Friday ranting about different things within the magic and the entertainment industry. And the other reason that I did it is because um, I, starting this channel from cold, a lot of people knew me from the Wizard Pro Review as a guy that would go on there and rant about tricks. So because I went on there and I ranted about magic tricks on the Wizard Pro Review, it was a natural progression for that to be a feature of this channel when I was trying to build the channel, right? So I would rant about lots and lots of different subjects. I'm sure any regular viewers of this of this channel will know that, will know that over the course of the last year, I, I've, I've done a lot. You know, I've, I've, I've approached a lot of different subjects. I don't feel like I have to pay homage to the Wizard Product Review anymore. I feel that Magic TV is its own entity. I don't need to be associated with, with those guys. I think that the video I put up on Wednesday, which was my response video to, uh, to the Wizard Magic Review, I think that laid that period of life to death. To rest in peace, if that kind of makes sense. So that's the first reason. The second reason is I was running out of stuff to rant about. I just was. I was running out of stuff to rant about. One of the reasons that I spent a few weeks going back and forth with the Wizard Product Review is because it gave me something that I could actually come on here on a Friday and talk about. Now, that's weird for me because I have thousands of ideas for this channel. I'm constantly, I've got a notebook, I'm constantly coming up with ideas, uh, performance ideas, review ideas, uh, ideas for the magic stuff, you know, uh, five by five ideas. I'm constantly coming up with stuff and I have no problem putting together content for anything else, but I do have a problem putting together the content for the rant videos for two reasons. The first reason is every subject that pretty much annoyed me, I've covered. So the only thing that I can do is rehash those subjects that's the first thing. And secondly, I was playing a character on those rants. Anybody who knows me, yeah, a few of them were serious. Like when I had my stuff uploaded to YouTube, that's serious. A few of them were serious. But a lot of them, and anybody who knows me really well will tell you, 
You know, you don't, you don't meet up with me in public and I start ranting and raving. That's just not me. It was a character that I was playing on screen. You know, that was a character I was playing on screen. This comically loud, angry guy that would get angry about stuff. Um, and, and, I and it was difficult to do that, to be honest. I, I actually joked to somebody a little while ago and I said, you know, the only way I can do a rant video is get into an argument with Sarah because then I can be really angry. I can go, right, I'm going to go and film a rant. And I go down to my studio and I'd film a rant. And that's actually true. It was very difficult to get myself into the mindset that I needed to be in in order to rant on a particular subject, right? And, and as I said, I was running out of stuff to rant about. There's only so many times you can talk about bad magicians or this or that or the other. And then the, 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 there's another couple of reasons as well. The other reason is magic TV has grown pretty big pretty quickly, which I'm so glad about. I really am. And I posted this on Instagram and Facebook a little while ago, but I must be getting probably about 10, 15 messages a week, if not more, messages and comments on the YouTube channel saying I've changed people's lives. I got into magic because of lockdown. I got into magic during lockdown and you've had a huge influence on my magic. Or this is the best channel on, on, on YouTube. I've never seen a channel like this before. Oh, you, your advice is just second to none. And you know what? A lot of that was coming from young magicians. I've had people reach out to me that are in the Young Magicians Club. I've had people comment on my videos that are in the Young Magicians Club. One guy that's in the Young Magicians Club that asked me to do a lecture, I actually addressed it on a Q&A last week. He actually said, oh, we're all big fans of your channel. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, well, you know, there's a lot of young magicians that are fans of my channel. Should I really be putting these videos out where I'm effing and blinding? If I'm a role model, and I don't consider myself a role model really, but if enough people are watching my videos, surely I need to act in the way that I would like to be treated myself, if that kind of makes sense. So I have to be aware that the audience has changed from when I first started doing Magic TV. And I have to have that in mind. Do I want to be ranting on these videos when I have young magicians watching me? Is that the way I want them to think that I am because that's the other thing if you took you know I interviewed Chris Dugdale on this channel a little while ago and Chris Dugdale talked about during a magic performance you have this snapshot moment and what he meant by that is if somebody took a snapshot of you in a gig or a small section of video of you in a gig would you want that um, to promote you as a magician and if not why are you doing it in your act well, I kind of thought about that when it came to um, this channel. Would I want a client of Slightly Unusual or Nonstop Kids or whatever? Would I want one of my clients to see me going, who the... No, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. It's a bad snapshot for me as a person because it doesn't represent me. It doesn't represent my brand. It doesn't represent my company's brands. It's just something that I did for fun. But I have to, you know, I, I get booked as a motivational speaker, going out there and motivating people and talking to people about how to improve their business and get more business success. If a corporate client saw me ranting and raving on a channel, would I want, would I want them to see that? No, I wouldn't. You know, and I've actually, um, you know, that, that's something that I really needed to kind of think long and hard about. And then I thought about the, uh, the subjects of the rants, right? And... I was very careful every time I did a rant to not make it about a particular person unless that person, in my opinion, deserved it. So, for example, I did an intervention on Paul. Oh, Paul. I did an intervention on um, Peter Egging because he was ringing out terrible trick after terrible trick after terrible trick. And I'm like, dude, you need to stop. But I did it in a very ranty way. Now, I still believe that. And by the way, even though I'm not ranting, I'm still going to be completely honest about tricks that are coming in. That isn't changing. The honest trailers are still staying here. That's not changing. I'm still going to be honest as ever before about any products that are coming in because I still believe that there's a lot of rubbish that's actually released to the magic community. And I think that the only way that that can change is by reviewers actually being honest about the stuff that's actually coming out. And like I say, that's not going to change. But, you know, taking the Peter Egging thing as an example. What, you know, who am I 
to hold an intervention with Peter Egging. You know, when I did the Alan Rorison thing where uh, Hanson Chen ripped off Alan Rorison and I was like, this is wrong and you know it's wrong. Well, you know what? Yeah, it is wrong. And yeah, he didn't deal with it very well. But then again, I ripped off Bob King and I didn't deal with it very well. So who am I to actually uh, rant to somebody about that, right? And it comes back to what I was talking about last Wednesday when I did my reply to, uh, to Sean and Dave. When I was getting attacked left, right and centre because of red, it made me feel really bad. It made me feel really low. It put me in a really bad place. It really did. And I wouldn't want to be the person that's making other people feel like that, if that kind of makes sense. So one of my haters or somebody who leaves a really nasty comment on one of my YouTube channels. So I, uh, I reply to him and I rant about this guy. I don't know what sort of place he's in. I don't know what his headspace is. Who am I to rant on this person? Um, because it never made me feel good when people ranted about me. So why should I do it on them? Now, if somebody's releasing a product and I'm reviewing a product, I will happily say that the product is rubbish because I'm not going to lie about it. I have Ryland sitting there or standing there next to me. I'm not going to be in a situation where I'm saying something's good, where he's standing there and he knows it's not good. But I'm not going to, I don't want to attack those people. I didn't like it when it happened to me. It shouldn't be, I shouldn't be doing that to somebody else. And on the subject of Ryland, he's not here when I film the rants. He's never seen one of those rant videos ever. The reason I started Magic TV is because I wanted to spend more time with Ryland. Ryland eats, breathes, sleeps and drinks magic 24-7. And he is the most important thing in my life. My kids, Ryland and Thea, my wife, they're the most important things in my life. I don't think I want Ryland seeing one of those videos. Don't think I'd like Ryland seeing one of my rant videos. Even when he's older, I wouldn't like Ryland seeing one of my rant videos. Uh, I think he'd get the wrong impression. And I definitely, let's say that Ryland's got a friend at school and that friend gets into magic and starts watching the, the uh, Craig and Ryland review show. And then one of my rants gets suggested. So he opens up that rant video and starts watching the rant video. And then goes back to Ryland and says, oh, I saw your dad saying this on the internet the other day. I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want that. The way that I did those videos ultimately does not really mesh with me as a person. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not really like that. I was playing a character. Uh, doesn't mesh with me as a person, doesn't mesh with me or my companies as a brand. So it's ultimately a business decision, which is if I'm doing something which doesn't fit into the rest of my brand, why am I doing it? Am I doing it just for views? Well, that's not a good reason to do something. Anybody knows that watches this channel, I don't do this for views. I don't do this for money. Heck, I put a minimum of 30 hours a week into this uh, into this channel, producing the content for Magic TV. And I want it to be the best. And you know what? The other thing is, I don't get excited about doing the rants. I get so excited about planning a lot of the content on this channel. I, I'll, I'll, I'll say to Sarah, and Sarah said this to me the other day. Uh, she said, you get so excited when you've come up with an idea. Oh, you're going to do this on audience management. Oh, you've got this person that you're going to interview. And I can see you're really excited about it. When, I, when it comes to filming the rants, I don't get excited about them at all. I come down to the studio, I swear at the camera for 20 minutes, and then I stop. It's not enjoyable for me. And if there's one thing that I know that my dad taught me, is if something's not enjoyable, you stop doing it. And you know what? I've had this said to me before. When I first got back into the magic circle, David Penn, my friend David Penn, he turned around to me and he said, you know what? You should really stop the rant videos because... You know, a lot of people look up to you. A lot of people look up to you on that channel. And, uh, and, and do you really want people seeing that content? And I argued with him at the time. I said, look, if people don't want to see it, they don't have to watch it. It's their choice whether to watch on a Friday or not. And it is. I believe it's their choice whether to watch on a Friday or not. But ultimately, you know, I can't control who watches or who doesn't watch. I wouldn't want the members of the Young Magic Club, uh, Young Magic Circle, whatever it is. I, I wouldn't want them watching those rant videos. I want to be a good role model. And the only way that I can do that 
is is by putting content out that I enjoy creating and content that I believe will benefit everybody who watches this channel. The rant videos don't benefit the people that are watching this channel. It's sensationalism. It's just, oh my God, what is Craig going to say this week? So I'm ending it. I'm stopping it. In fact, if you go back and look at the playlist, you'll see that they've all been deleted off YouTube already. I don't even want to keep them on there. Like I say, this isn't about money for me. This isn't about views for me. So I'm going to lose a few hundred thousand views. I don't care. This is not about views for me. This is about doing the right thing. And if this one thing, if this thing with David Penn and Sean Hayden has taught me anything, it's that I need to be more positive. I need to be putting out stuff that magicians will enjoy. I want to get more messages like, oh my God, I, you know, you, you've changed my life. The, the, the information you put on this channel is amazing. Thank you very much. And I want to get less videos. I'm sorry, I want to get less comments on, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're just angry, blah, 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 blah. So that's, that's what it is. And um, yeah, that, that's, that's the decision I've made. Now, just to be clear, it's not, that doesn't mean that I'm going to not be honest when it comes to the reviews. I'm going to be more honest than ever before. I'll probably get irate with the reviews because let's be honest, I haven't got another outlet for this. So if a trick comes in and it's terrible, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you the God's honest truth as to whether a product is good or not. I'm just not going to rant about a particular subject. If there's something that happens, if there's something that's newsworthy within the magic community that I feel I should talk about, I'll talk about it on a 5x5 five five or I'll talk about it on a different video, but I won't be effing and blinding about it. I won't be swearing about it. And to be clear, I've got no problem with swearing. My mum and dad brought me up to believe that swearing doesn't mean that you've got a lack of intelligence. People who swear, it doesn't mean that you aren't uh, an intelligent person. But I just think that with the, with the way that the channel is going and with the audience that I'm getting on the channel, and, and when I first started the channel, the 16 to 19 or the 16 to 21 age range was about 1%. I think now it's something like 15, 16%. So more people are watching my channel that are younger. I have to bear that in mind. I have to bear that in mind. So yeah, the rants are going effective immediately. Um, they are no more. The, the, they've been deleted. The playlist will be deleted. Um, it's gone. So instead, what are we doing on a Friday? Well, I've got a few different ideas, but what I'm going to run with, with na uh, for now is something that I think that people would really enjoy seeing. What I'm going to do, and it's going to require a lot of work on my part, but I think it's going to be worth it. I'm going to take tricks that I've reviewed, either on the review show specials or on the 5 by 5s or on the uh, Craig and Ryan review shows. I'm going to take tricks that I've reviewed I'm going to go out and perform them in the real world. I want to revisit the stuff that I'm reviewing because no other reviewers do that. To be honest, no other magic reviewers actually perform every single trick they get. Myself and Ryland perform every single trick that we get on this channel. I want to be, but, but, and we perform it, but we perform it to camera. So what I want to do is every Friday, I want to pick a trick or a couple of tricks and I'm going to go out, or I might take Ryland with me. Ryland might go out and do it. I think people will get a kick out of that. But either myself or Ryan will go out to a real setting. It might just be some street magic down the local McDonald's. It might be to a restaurant. It might be somewhere else. I don't know. But we'll go out and we'll perform some tricks off the review show. And then what we'll do, the format I'm thinking in my head will be um, introducing the trick, playing uh, a, a small segment of the review, from before, then talking about the experiences of performing it to a live audience, perform it to a live audience, and then do sort of a, uh, a conclusion, and then maybe do one or two of those every Friday. So that'll take up like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, which is normally how long the rant is. And I think that'll be far more beneficial because here's the thing at the end of the day, there's a world of difference between performing a trick in a studio setting like this and performing a trick to real people. And I think that it will be more beneficial for the viewers of this channel to watch a video where I'm revisiting tricks that have been released recently and I'm trying them out in the real world and I'm letting you know what they're like in the real world. I think that would be more beneficial than me sitting here ranting about something that's probably not going to change. 
and I'm going to take some of the rubbish stuff as well. I'm going to take some of the stuff that I considered rubbish. I'm going to go and perform that and see if it actually gets a good reaction in the real world. And I'll go and perform something that gets a really good reaction. Sorry, I'll go and perform something that got a really good review. And we'll try it out in the real world and we'll see if it actually does get a good review. And we'll see how it actually plays in the real world. And I'll give you the feedback on that. There's other stuff that I might be doing on Friday as well, but for now we're going to run with that. The honest trailers aren't changing, that's going to stay the same. Everything else is going to stay the same, but the rant videos effective immediately are over. And for anybody who's got through to the end of this video, if you watch Magic TV and you only watch for the rant videos and that was your favourite part, I am very sorry. I really am. But my son is getting older and I want him to be proud of me. And I don't want to be embarrassed of a video he finds when he gets older of his dad effing and blinding and ranting and raving. I'm, I'm teaching him to be a good, you know, to be a good boy. I, I want him to be a good man. How am I going to get Ryland to be a good man? By being a good role model. Would I want Ryland to go and do a video like that on the internet? No. Would I want Ryland to go and speak to somebody like that on the internet? No. And he's going to magic conventions now. I don't want people coming up to me when he's there and going, oh, look at the ramp videos. Urgh. Don't want that. Doesn't mean I'm not going to be, uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to be the same old Craig. Doesn't mean I'm not going to uh, rant about tricks I don't like. Heck, Ryland's got his own little mini rants going on sometimes now because he's got to a point that he's just sick to death of seeing terrible tricks. But the rant videos on a Friday are over. I'm very sorry if you enjoyed them. I really am. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I'm very sorry. Um, but I hope that you understand why I've made this decision. And it was not an easy decision to make. Trust me. I was very conflicted. I was sitting there with Luke and Sarah and I was really conflicted. So hopefully you understand why I've made this decision. And hopefully you'll continue to support the channel moving forward. If you feel the need to unsubscribe because I'm not doing the rants, I absolutely get that. And I am sorry that I let you down from the bottom of my heart. But I have to do what's right for me and I have to do what I think is right for the longevity of this channel. Because I want the content on this channel to stand forever. I want this to be a resource, a free resource that magicians can access. Whether they're new into magic, they've been in magic for six months, a year or two years. I want this to be a resource that people can learn from forever. And the only way to do that is to, is to make sure that I'm constantly putting the content out that I think will be beneficial for the people that watch it. So there you go. No more rants on Magic TV, but I'll be back on Friday with a brand new video revisiting some of the tricks that we reviewed on the review show, going out and performing them in the real world, and I'll let you know exactly how they play. We might even do commentary tracks. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Any comments, leave them down below. I appreciate your continued support. I hope you understand. I'll see you again tomorrow. My name's Craig from Magic TV.